Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here coming to you live. So this will be part one. We are going to build a linked list data structure and implementation with JavaScript. So um, as you can see right here, I have a picture of a linked list. So for those of you who, who you know aren't familiar with what a linked list is, or you're you know listening to this video sort of not sure, I'm going to explain it to you. So a linked list is a data structure like any other, maybe like an array or an object, you know, or you've heard of a binary search tree. A lot of them are very primitive, um, but right. So this is this is the you know sort of idea behind the linked list. You start with it's basically a bunch of nodes attached to each other. So think of maybe like a necklace, right? So and, and each one has a link to the next. Okay. So it's a pointer to the next node, and that's how you can traverse through all of the nodes, and that's why they call it a linked list. So in each in each side of each node is basically like a JavaScript object. So you so you get the benefits of an object while also maintaining, uh, you know, a greater performant, um, a more performant data structure rather than an array where. Uh, you know, it's log n in terms of search capabilities, and uh, you know, if you're iterating through it, it's going to be the amount of elements um, right on par with uh, you know the sort of point that you want to reach. It's called a linear search. So enough with the uh, you know theory. It's all great, but at the end of the day, if you can't implement it, you know, um, I don't think you're going to understand it. So let's go ahead. In this video, I'm just going to set our set up our list, set up our uh, node class, and set up our uh, linked list class explain you know sort of my architecture and engineering behind it and we're also going to implement the push function which is just going to push onto our linked list and it's going to set the head to um, whatever we push on if there isn't a head otherwise we're going to you know sort of uh, traverse the list and attach our node onto the end okay guys so let's uh, let's get started I have my uh, my terminal here change directory into my desktop and I'm going to touch a file called uh, linked list.js and let me just show you guys. Yeah, I don't have anything else on there. So I'm going to run this with node. Okay. So I'm going to run nodemon linked list. And there's not anything in there right now, but it's going to be waiting for changes. So let me bring this off to the side, guys. And we can sort of just watch it in the background. I also have a binding to Sublime. So I'm going to do Sublime linked list and I'm going to open up Sublime right here. And I'm going to show you guys um, how we can implement our linked list code. So let's uh, get started. First thing I want to do, guys, is I want to implement our node class. Okay, and in a linked list, a node usually when we push onto it, okay, it's going to take a value, okay, to store some data, right? And usually just for the primitive purposes of this video it's just going to be a number so again you really can think of it sort of like an array but it has a lot more features that we're going to get to so uh this is going to have two properties okay um first one it's going to have we're going to set this dot data to data and then we're going to set this dot next equals to null okay so back to the you know pointer right here um, this arrow represents the next because we don't have any right now we're just going to set it equal to null but later we will update this the next thing we want to do guys we want to create a linked list class and this is a singly linked list the only difference between a singly and a doubly linked list is that a singly linked list is only one way it's not going to have pointers back to the node in front of it whereas a doubly linked list will have a head and a tail or a next and a previous rather so um, a linked list it's going to have two properties on it it's going to have a length we're going to implement that with underscore length and we're going to initialize this at zero and then we're going to initialize a property called this dot head and that's going to be null so let's go back one more time the head pointer is sort of like if you've implemented a queue data structure would be like a peak it's the top of your list so it's the very front the first index so uh, now that we have this function right we're going to use its prototype to build out our methods so really guys like I said we're just going to build one one method here and this method is going to be called push prototype dot push and you might think oh why not just use you know regular push well one we're not building an array but I'm going to show you you can name this whatever you want we, we'll just name it add actually just to sort of um, you know clear up any doubts and this is going to take in a node um, okay and what we're going to do guys Actually, let's just say it. let's have it take in a value. That makes a little 
a little easier to understand when, when, when we're going to implement it, actually. So it's going to take in a value, okay? And you might ask, well, what are we going to do with this value? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. First, we're going to check if there's a head. So we're going to say if there, if, uh, if there isn't a head, okay? Uh, but even before that, guys, I'm getting ahead of myself. What I want to do is I want to create our node. So I'm going to create this by saying var node is equal to a new object constructor of this node, you know, pseudo class, but it's really just an object because uh, it's JavaScript. And uh, we're gonna <coughs> we're gonna pass the data, and that's gonna return back to us this object. And so we're gonna say if there isn't a head, um, let me just write some comments. If there is no head, set um, node to head of list. Okay, cool. Let me just do it like that. Set node to head of list. And um, what we're gonna do, if there's an head, then we're gonna we're gonna say this dot head is equal to node, okay? Um, and then we're gonna return back. Uh, what do we want to return? Let's return. Um, let's just return this, okay? Let's try this out. Let's go ahead and build a linked list. So we'll say linked. Uh, we'll just do this. We'll do singly linked list equals a new linked list okay and that's not going to break anything so now we'll do singly li linked list dot add and we'll give it a value of three let's make sure we're not breaking anything no not yet let's actually just console dot log this right here make sure we're getting what we want okay cool so we are getting what we want if you can sort of see this this is a linked list with a length of zero and the head is a node with a data point pointer of three and a next of null we need to do one more thing guys um, we need to update the length okay so again I'm not doing too much validation right now in terms of assuming that um, you know there's a value passed in um, I feel like it's kind of self-evident here but if I was you know developing it more we could do that but um, I'm, I'm really just showing you the basic implementation of a linked list so uh, next thing we want to do guys is uh, we want to update this length property plus equal to one now let's look at what we get now. We get length is equal to zero. Um, you know, head, let me see. Uh, actually, I think I know what I want to do. Turn this. Oh, this is, right, this is referring to the node, I think, yeah. So let me, um, for node, and then let's actually return this node. Length of zero, let me see. This dot underscore length. Let me see if it'll update. I don't think it's going to, but let me just try it out. Okay, sing link dot add. This is going to be an error. Okay. So, yeah, it's not going to add it. Okay, so uh, let me update our length property. This dot length plus equal to one. And then we will return the node. So we'll say if there is a head, then we're going to say var current is equal to um, this dot head dot next. So what I'm doing guys, I'm saying if there's a head, set it equal to the head, but we also wanna set it equal to, um, well no, first we're gonna set it equal to head, and then we're gonna say while there's a current dot next, okay, which means while there's another one in front of the head, we wanna set current equal to current dot next. So really, this is just saying set current dot next to be equal to current dot next dot next and so on. And then once we break out of this, guys, um, we're going to say current dot next is equal to node. Okay. Um, we're going to update our length property plus or equal to one. And finally, we're going to return our node. So let's try this out. We've added on a 10. Okay. Awesome. Um, and now uh, what we want to do, we want to add on a 12 to our data structure. So let's make sure we can get this. Uh, if not, this dot head, this dot head equals node. Um, for current equals this dot head. Let me make sure I'm getting this right. Return node. Oh, I'm not logging anything. Out. Okay, cool. So let me get rid of this console.log and then we just return back to us 
our singly linked list. So I'm going to log it out now and see what we have at this point. Singly linked list. So we have a length of two, guys, which is pretty awesome. We got our length of two with our first node being a date of 10. And then its next node is pointing to this date of 12. And its next is null. Okay, so we could do one more validation check. Uh, we could just say, you know, if not val, then we will throw a new error. And we'll say, please pass in a value okay so let me see if we can get this if we try and do single link dot add you know we just try and add with nothing right we're gonna get please pass in a value as our error so just some simple validation um cool guys so that was part one of how to create your singly linked list in javascript so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like comment give it a thumbs up please subscribe and support the channel it means a lot so thanks for watching guys have a great day take care